Welcome everyone. My name is Joanna Sanchez and I am the Tampa Bay Regional Director here for the Women's Business Development Council of Florida. And we have three different pillars that we work under. And so one of our pillars is what you know us most for probably is the We Back Florida pillar where we certify, champion, and connect women business owners. That means that the women business um, is 51% or more owned by women and that the woman um, can control and operate and manage her own business. And um, our other pillar is for those of you that are interested in being a member but cannot get certified, we have what's called our growth shift membership and with that membership we guide you along the way of being an entrepreneur if you're interested in doing business with um, government entities and trying to uh, grow your business there is that as well and next week we have actually have a members only meeting so if you are either a growth shift member or a WeBec Florida member you can join us for a mastermind if you have any help that you need or questions that you have we do a small group um, session next week and so the other pillar is um, from our famous uh, CEO here, Nancy Allen, and she is also a transitional coach and has gone through some personal things and really helps women business owners as a CEO um, be able to not only have a successful business, but also make sure that they are um, handling themselves properly and um, doing both being a woman business owner and a woman because we go through a lot. So um, today is actually one of my favorite days. It's winning strat strategies with the WBE. And we've had quite a few WBEs um, that have shared their stories and they have been incredible to listen to. If you ever want to listen to a story or watch a video, we do have them on our YouTube channel, the WBDC. So you just search that in Google and um, in your YouTube and you can go ahead and watch if there's someone that you're interested in getting to know more about, you can always go watch their video um, anytime. And so, Today, Nancy's gonna be talking about a few women that have been highlighted and um, we're gonna be sharing their secrets. So you're getting today a lot of information from several women in one small session. So that's awesome. Okay, and so what we like to do is we like to go around and share resources and tips for our women business owners um, from across the state. And if you are certified, then you'll want to tune in to Nancy Allen because she's going to be sharing um, some tips from uh, WeBank. So Nancy, can you go ahead and share with us? Yeah, actually, I'm going to take advantage of this, this moment and introduce a new team member named Barb Gray. And Barb is the one who's going to be doing the, the highlights from WeBank. So, so Barb is our marketing, our new marketing and, and uh, communications director for WeBec Florida. All things WeBec Florida are going to uh, fall under Barb Gray's purview. So Barb, give us the highlights from WeBank. Absolutely. Nice to be here. Thank you so much, wow. Nancy. Um, one of the most exciting things that I uh, have seen um, in all the years that I have uh, been around this wonderful group is a scholarship uh, that's actually called Dorothy B. Brothers. Um, and if you're somebody who wants about $11,000 tuition to attend some of the best executive education programs in the country, you might want to listen up. This is really fun. Um, Miss Dorothy B. Brothers was a supplier diversity and development professional from Bank of America. And she was a member of the WeBank Board of Directors. This scholarship provides women business owners access to the same caliber executive development that's available for Fortune 500 companies. And this framework that helps WBEs formulate and implement business strategies to achieve competitive advantage. Um, most people, um, even if you might not qualify, uh, you can really take advantage of this opportunity because there is um, such a uh, great way to position yourself and then find a, a, a something that fits. But in order to qualify, you must be currently WeBank certified and we be in good standing. 
uh, you must be the majority owner of the company. You must have a minimum of three years experience operating a business. Uh, you must employ at least three full-time employees. And uh, as I mentioned a minute ago, um, maintaining a minimum annual sales uh, volume of 500,000, although that is a qualification, um, we know lots of companies who've been able to get this kind of funding without having that qualification met. Um, what you have to do is make the case why you wanna participate in that particular program. So um, the scholarship selection committee awards, uh, as I said, an annual scholarship of up to $11,000 in tuition to an approved executive level course. Um, more than 300 WeBank certified Weebies have been awarded this prestigious scholarship uh, to advance themselves and their companies. Some of the um, approved schools and programs uh, are, for example, Women in Technology presented by Dell, Austin, Texas, uh, Dartmouth Tuck School, Harvard Business School, um, and among many others. Uh, there are 14 total, but as I mentioned, you can um, get a little creative here. And of course, we can help with that. Um, I'm going to add the whole list of the 14 schools uh, that are part of the program and all of the little uh, details, or not so little details, about this uh, wonderful scholarship. I'll um, add that into the chat. And of course, contact us if you have any uh, questions or want to find any other opportunities for executive learning. And I thank you. Great, great. Barb, let, let me add. Um, that, uh, you know, Barb said this is an annual grant scholarship, and they really mean that you can apply every year, every 12 months, you can apply to attend executive level training. Very few people do, so you have a really good chance of getting um, up to $11,000, so you want to really take advantage of this. Absolutely. Thanks, Barb. Yeah, absolutely. And although the application looks a little daunting, it's not. <laughs> it's just set up really nicely. So if somebody gets to that page and thinks, oh, no, Nancy's right, take advantage and, and apply every year if you don't get it. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And we are so glad you are on our team now, Barb. Um, and, yep. you know, not only is it important and beneficial to attend these um, opportunities for learning, you know, from these executive members or people, but it's also building connections with them. And um, the more people that know about your business, the better. So yeah. Absolutely. And if anyone applies, let us know, because we always like to know what's happening and what's going on with our, our members. Absolutely. Okay. And so we'll go ahead around the state. We'll start from the South. So Carmen, what's happening in South Florida? Well, Good afternoon, everyone. And guess what? It's kind of sunny today. Mm -hmm. Lately, it's been like a lot of rain in South Florida, but so far it's been quite a beautiful day. So I'm, I'm very happy to share with all of you on some information on a live event that is being held in Broward County. Yay! Mm -hmm. So the Broward County Office of Economics and Small Business Development is partnering with the Belford Fetty uh, Construction uh, Company to host a live networking matchmaking event tomorrow, Thursday, July 22nd at 5 p.m. And it's supposed to run from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's going to be uh, held at the Terminal 4 uh, Port Everglades. And it's they're really focusing on wanting to meet the small business owners. They want to discuss what the current bid opportunities and plans are for the Broward County Convention Center and Hotel. I want to share with you some of the requirements that are very important to make sure that you do adhere to in order to be taken seriously for these contracts. Number one, the small business enterprise must have an office in Broward County. They will not accept a PO box, so it must be an established office. Also, you must be in business for at least one year. Those are just the basic requirements. 
Um, the other piece of information that I wanna share with you is that the convention center is gonna start construction as of September of this year. And then the hotel is going to be managed by the Omni Group. And they're looking at starting the construction for the hotel um, part of the, of the whole project as of January of 2022 with a completion date of 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and put the information for you to register to attend this in-person live event in Broward County for tomorrow. So wish you all much success. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, You're it's welcome. interesting. Yeah. We're getting to do uh, more live things. It's so wonderful. Um, okay, we'll move up to Central Florida, Diane. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diane Sears, and I'm the Central Florida Director, and um, have some interesting things to share with you, you guys today. Uh, one is a really interesting uh, class about government contracting. It's a whole overview. It's actually designed for people who have been doing government contracting or those who just haven't done it yet. Um, it is presented by the Small Business Development Center from the University of Central Florida. It's free and it's online. It's actually on Wednesday, August 4th, and it's from 9 a.m. to noon, so you can actually still make it to the window right afterwards here. Um, and it's about federal, state, and local government um, procurement. So, so it, it asks the questions, does the government buy what you're selling or um, can you, are you competitive enough to be able to position your business to win the government contracts? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a link to that and how you can register in the chat. So that's pretty interesting. Um, another thing I want to tell you about, and, and if you've been on before, you've heard me say this already, but the All Impact Forum, it's the All Women Empowered Group from Orlando Regional Chamber of Commerce, is presenting an in-person event for business women. And that is Thursday, August 19th. That is from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. It's gonna be kind of a who's who among the women business community here. So you really don't wanna miss out on this. And it's at the Orlando Museum of Art. Uh, this is designed to raise awareness of regional resources that help propel women forward. And we are one of them. We Back Florida is one of them. So we're pretty excited about that. I'll put that in the chat too, how you can register. And then the third thing I want to tell you about is Go for the Greens, and it's an international conference, but it's held here in Orlando where I am. This is the 14th annual event, and we are doing it live. That is September 22nd through 25th at Disney's Boardwalk Result, Resort. Um, this includes two whole days of programming, uh, some evening events, which are really fun. One of them, we have a beach party, and then we go into Epcot. And then golf, we teach either teach you how to play golf with a clinic or else you can play in a kind of a tournament networking thing. Um, very fun. So that's three packed days and um, and you'll get to meet people from all over the United States and Canada. So uh, more importantly, we have a um, matchmaking component with that and those matchmakers happen virtually. So those are before the conference and after the conference. You can learn all about it at goforthegreens.org. Um, this is all included in your registration. It's pretty exciting. So that's what we have going on here in Central Florida. Back to you, Joanna. So much fun. The Go For The Greens a few years ago, you guys had the fireworks into the Disney park and that was so much fun to be able to go in. Are you guys gonna do anything like that this year? Sure are. are. you gonna be able we to? Sure are. It's, it's, uh, things have been opening back up and so you know, when we first started planning this, it was going to be uh, a complete hybrid event because we were only allowed to have uh, fewer than 100 people in the ballrooms and all that. But now things have opened back up. I know, you know, we're still being um, advised to wear masks when you get in crowds or when you get indoors. Mm -hmm. And that will probably still be taking place in September. But um, but yeah, we can all be there together. So we're excited. And there the fireworks are part of it. Yep. Yay. All right. Oh, and it's food and wine festival. So so you can actually, uh, our hotel, you walk right into Epcot um, and be in the food and wine festival. So that's all pretty fun too. Yes. Lots of 
Fun. Who's going? Raise your hand if you have been or going. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's go to North Florida now. Steph, what's happening there? Oh, yes. Hi. And we definitely want to encourage you guys. Um, I do have a, a partial little thing here for Grow for the Greens because I've been a part of it since its second year. And so we really hope to see you guys there. And we're actually heading over to do the planning, uh, work on the planning this weekend. So can't wait to be there. Um, so in North Florida, we got a couple of exciting things going on. First and foremost, we are um, partnering now with the uh, Jacksonville Women's uh, Business Center. And Nancy is going to be doing a session next week on Tuesday at one o'clock on the 12 steps to getting a corporate contract and specifically highlighting our three favorites for any of you guys who've been following us know that we talk a lot about your capability statement. We talk about um, uh, getting out there and getting certified. So we'll talk about all the different kinds of certifications that you could be getting and then perfecting your pitch. Um, and I'll drop the link for that. So again, that's in partnership with the Jacksonville Women's Business Center. It is virtual, so anybody can attend and we'd love to have you guys join us. The second thing that actually was announced last week um, is that PS27 Ventures up here in um, Jacksonville area, and I've mentioned that on quite a few of our calls, uh, they are a um, organization that looks to do um, funding and uh, investing, angel investing. Um, they have all different kinds of ways to help you get investors if that's one of the things you're looking for. But they have a leadership week that they offer for companies to sign up and take. You can be you and your partner. It could be you and three or four of your employees that go through this together. I actually had opportunity to attend when I was first starting my business. And each day of the week has a theme. Um, and so they'll work on your pitch. They look, help you have, they bring in their own team of financial people to talk about finances. They have a branding person that talks about branding, the person talk about marketing. And at the end, um, they select uh, a handful of companies that are there that week. And you have an opportunity to actually do a shark tank and pitch to potential investors. So again, even if you're not looking for investing, um, it's a great session, but they have a scholarship and the applications are open to apply. This is a $5,000 value for you to go. And I think it's up to a few number members of your team if you have a team. So I'm going to drop the link to that and really encourage you guys. Um, you don't have to be in North Florida. Uh, they have people come from all over to attend this. And um, it is amazing. So definitely, if nothing else, there's no, no harm in applying. So click the link and apply. And that's it from North Florida. Well, thank you, Steph. Yeah, it sounds like you have a lot going on there and definitely take advantage of applying. You never know. And um, over here in Tampa, if, if you are looking to do business with Hillsborough County, um, if you're newly certified or want to get to know more about how to do business with Hillsborough County, they are having an online event um, that will give you all the information that you need and um, steps to even follow up on to make connections with prime contractors. So um, I'll go ahead and put that in the link. It's July 22nd at 9 a.m. And then if you are interested in uh, participating in the Jim Moran's Institute for Global Entrepreneurship, they are beginning uh, to take applications um, for their small business executive program. Um, and it's in the Tampa Bay and St. Pete area. And the deadline to apply to that is August 9th. And um, I will include the link to um, for you to see if you meet the criteria and um, for you to apply. And that's, oh, and then I forgot my, my desktop quote for the week. If I make a fool of myself, who cares? I'm not frightened by anyone's perception of me. And that's from Angelina Jolie. Uh, she's an actress, so I guess you gotta do things sometimes. And that's a good way to to build some confidence. Um, so I'll go ahead and type that one up in the chat for you all as well, in case you were interested in that. And we are gonna go ahead and move forward or, and we're gonna thank our Facebook viewers out there, YouTube world for watching us and getting our resources um, for this week. And uh, thank you. And